Duckbörte. My dear Duckbird Platypus, Paris is beautiful. Someone's mom said, You have to blink three times to remember. Oh no, I think I can blink more than three times. Will I forget? It's like taking a mental image, he said, as if you're taking a photograph. The back of Sacre Coeur with little symbols and a wavy fence was very interesting to me. I liked how the stone went with metal and the swivels went with the circles and the rust stroked his brush over the waves. And brick upon brick formed this radiant monastery that took me back in time. At the bottom of Sacre Coeur were the Hakuna Matata guys. That's so Pumbaesque of you, Anna, but who are the Hakuna Matata guys, you might ask. Well, that's a long story. Give me your arm, they said to my friend and started braiding a rainbow around his wrist. It was a bracelet. They kept talking and being really friendly. Basically, it was one of those tourist rip-offs. They try to start their work, so it's basically a psychological trick where you, in the end, feel obliged to pay for whatever they have worked on, whether it's a paper silhouette that no one really needs, or a bracelet or anything of that sort. Anyway, I managed to talk us both out of it. The Moulin Rouge is close, they said, and we decided to go there next, as it was the place where people like Toulouse-Lautrec used to spend their free time enjoying themselves. Honestly, Moulin Rouge to me was nothing special. The ruby-colored windmill was so cold during the day that I don't think the neon lights at night would have made that big of a difference. The foyer was filled with mainly elderly audience, all waiting to buy the rather expensive tickets for the next show. One of my favorite places was the Monastery of Saint-Jacques. It was the place I later on found where Rodin went when he was young and a sibling had passed away. I was impressed seeing one of my favorite artists, Alberto Giacometti's pieces of work for the first time in real life. It was the nose. As we were walking around the very sparkly streets that shone in a thousand lights, I noticed a Georgian restaurant in the side street near Saint-Michel. It was very surprising to us how hard it was to catch a cab during the rainy weather in Paris, even when the streets seemed to be very busy. And how small and cute is this car? It's smaller than a smart, it must be easy to park for the owner. Unfortunately, time-wise, we didn't manage to go into the Louvre. But we did spend a lot of time in the Pompidou Center, at least four hours. And I didn't want to leave there. 
Hope you're well and you enjoyed my little postcard. Say hi to everyone. Love, Anna. Write back in a video response or send a real or fictive postcard to the address in the sidebar.